Thomas here with Much Props, gonna give you another how-to video. Today we are building something inspired by Batman. I've recently been watching the series Gotham, and in that series there is a part of the storyline where Joker dies and comes back and his face gets cut off, and then he comes back to life and puts his face back on. Uh, and I did a search for masks of Joker and the new 52 uh, series with uh, Batman, the Death in the Family episode uh, in the comic series, Joker wears this mask that is stretched over his raw skin. So I thought I would attempt to make that as just a uh, face mask. So if you wanted to, you could put a protective mask on and then put this over it just to freak people out and make them keep social distance. Yeah. So today we are going to make the creepiest Joker mask that I can possibly make. Let's get to building. All the templates you see me use in my builds are made by me. They can be downloaded in the description for free and have instructions on how to read them. Please just make sure that if you use it, let people know where you got it from and tag me in post so that I can see your handiwork also. I trace my template onto some six millimeter EVA parts marked with an L get flipped label side down and traced again to get the right side. Now time for assembly. All my edges have contact cement on them to make them connect to each other. Normally I do a right side and a left side separately so my contact cement doesn't dry out on me. For this build I attached it top to bottom separately, mainly because the halves had parts that stretched all the way across. Use the registration marks to help you line it up. After knocking this mask out, I already kind of had some ideas on how to modify it. I feel like if I change the nose on it, it could give me some great bases to build animal masks off of.
Instead of just painting on the teeth, which is definitely something you could do, I decided to create some layers, starting with cutting out a hole for the mouth. Looking at some Google searches, I found some good examples and cut half of it out onto my mask. Then I pulled the flap over to the other side, traced it, and then cut the rest out. This helps to maintain symmetry. To give him some lips, I used some halved 12mm EVA dowels and glued them into place. I bought mine from TNT Cosplay Supply Online, but you could easily just round over a piece of foam with a rotary tool and get the same effect. This part labeled stretch inside mouth would be like the raw tissue exposed under his mask, I guess. I carve in some details with a stone bit and glue it into place inside the mouth. Using a similar technique as the previous step, I carved in grooves for the gum line before gluing it into place. Depending on how large your mouth opening is, the dotted line for the overlay may be different than mine. If you end up with a gap between the teeth, you could just as easily lay an extra layer underneath it. The teeth then go into the gums. The only important thing to note here is that the peaks of the gum lines should line up with the separations of the teeth. So you may need to stretch the teeth a little to get them to line up properly.
to add the stress lines caused by his mouth being stretched out, I just did some more carving. I make it look relatively easy here, but this is a sped up video. Take your time and keep your hands as steady as possible while working your way around, and remember to sand both sides of your gouges as you work across. The straps are pretty simple. I just cut out some 2mm foam for the metal hooks that attach to the lips and some more 6mm foam for the leather straps. Once it's glued down, I go in with a wood burner and burn some stitch holes for added detail. Two coats of white Plasti Dip. Then to paint the rest of it, I am using some Platifex acrylic paint. I start by doing a wash in browns to get in some details. Then I go over the top of that with a dry brush of off-white to bring back the color a little bit. Same with the teeth, lips, and the straps. The strapping is pretty simple for this build. I'm using some one inch elastic banding that is sandwiched into place with some foam on the inside to make it super secure. And we're pretty much done. Time to creep people out. It ended up a little big. If I made it again, I would probably reduce the template size by about five to 10%. And we are finished. Here is the end result. 
Overall, I am extremely pleased with the way this turned out. It is nice and gory and definitely disturbing to say the least. The way that it distorts the mouth and pulls back on it at the straps I think is a pretty awesome touch to it. And then I went in after everything was done and added a little bit of blood to the edges so that it was like it was freshly cut off to be applied to my face. But yeah, definitely check out the template down in the description and build yourself one of these. Maybe you will try and make one yourselves and impress your friends with your ability to creep them out and keep social distancing at more than six feet. Yeah. Maybe you'll get some... And inevitably, they're gonna ask you, how'd you make that? You can give them one of these, tell them, much props. so serious put on a smile <laughs>